Hey folks, in this video, we're gonna be showing you how to use OBS to live stream to your regular platforms, but also to live stream to Zoom at the same time. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com. Link is in the description. So I've had a lot of people ask me about this. I understand a lot of people are doing Zoom. Um, I really like OBS and we just want to <laughs> do other tips and tricks to try and leverage both of these at the same time. Now, what I like to do with this is like the flexibility of what OBS produces and gives you more of production value. You're able to integrate a whole lot of more stuff, but then also to serve that to Zoom. So I kind of did this in reverse the other time where we captured Zoom in OBS. Now we want to take OBS and broadcast to our platform of choice and zoom at the same time. So let's, let me actually stop running my mouth and let's just go ahead and cut over to the computer. All right, so as you can see, I am here. Let me turn this off so we don't have this infinite loop here. So the very first thing that we need to do is we need to pull down a plugin and we're gonna do OBS Virtual Cam and I'll have a link in the description for this. And what this is gonna do, well actually let's go to this version so we can go to the right version. All right, so we want to pull down this OBS virtual camera and what this is gonna do is turn our entire output from OBS and push it out as if it's a webcam. Um, I've actually done this for a church down in Norfolk where they were using OBS to go to Skype. So makes it really simple. Go ahead and download this. You're gonna get a file that will run and when you're done, run it with OBS being closed and then what's going to happen is you will get a new add-on here called virtual cam and inside of here you'll have a target camera four or one camera depending on what you picked in the install so I'm just going to use one and then I don't want to do auto start but that's up to you depending on how you want to use this but we're going to um, start this now you don't see anything but what happened is it's outputting something else at the same time. So let me go ahead and set up a live stream here. I'm gonna live stream to Zoom. I mean, excuse me, I'm gonna live stream to Vimeo. So you set that up like you normally would. Let me go ahead and get my key here. And we're gonna pick Vimeo here. Place my key. And should I hook up a webcam? Yeah, let's hook up a webcam so this is not so confusing. All right, and let's point this to our webcam instead. And let's resize this. There we go. All right, so we have our webcam here. So, and we're pointing OBS to Vimeo. So let's go ahead and start streaming that. And as you can see, I am on Vimeo right now. Oh, wrong hand. <laughs> All right, so we're here. So while this is going on, Let's go ahead and start Zoom. Like I said, this will work with Skype, Google Meet, whichever one that you want. So we have Zoom over here. So we're gonna go to our video. And see, we have our A10 Mini being collected, but we don't want that. We want our OBS camera. So now we get the exact same thing here. I have the Zoom background. That's why my green screen is being erased. But as you can see, we have the same functionality between both. So let's go ahead and switch our scenes over to our media ministry bundle. And let me point back to our 
webcam here. So we got everything here. So now if I start a Zoom meeting, and I'm just going to start a new meeting here. So what we're going to do is make sure we have OBS camera here. We're already capturing audio. And audio, you want to make sure you're capturing the same source that you're being, that's being outputted from OBS. All right. And let's go ahead and start. So as you can see, the same thing that would be, well, actually, let me turn off this virtual background here. All right. So we're going to get the exact same thing in Zoom. If I bring over the live stream from Vimeo. If I can resize it right. All right, so you can see that we're both doing it at the same time. It's a little lag there from, um, from Vimeo. But as you can see, we have the exact same thing. So if I came over, let me move OBS to another screen. So if I happen to go to starting soon, as you can see, that's what's showing up on Zoom. Let me resize this here. All right. So you can see the exact same thing is going back and forth. Now you got to be mindful of your output, like I said, but that's really all it is. It's just this plugin. So if we came through and did our online giving, same thing shows on Zoom as well as Vimeo. Again, that's Facebook, YouTube, any streaming platform that OBS goes to, this will work. Uh, we have our Be Right Back, shows up the exact same way. And if we went to our ending, exact same thing. So whatever is going to OBS, that's what's going to show up on Zoom, Skype, Google Meet, um, Zoho meeting, whatever meeting that looks for a webcam, this plugin will make OBS look like it is a webcam and will make it really slick. And that way you can actually do both at the same time. Now, well, I'll leave that alone. What you could also use this for is you can have, if, as long as you have the bandwidth to do it, you can have the OBS plugin go to Facebook or YouTube, whichever platform that you want that accepts webcam interface through the browser. And you can still live stream from OBS to a different platform if you want. That way you can get around um, restream and stuff like that if you didn't want to pay for it as well. So hopefully that tip little tip will help you just make sure you have enough bandwidth to support both of these so very straightforward hopefully that helps y'all so if you like this type of content i appreciate a like consider subscribing and hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry and i want to thank all the patrons who made this video possible their names are on the screen right now and you can become a patron too for as little as one dollar a month where you help us get more software products and everything like that to help train media ministries all over the world. And just want to thank y'all for that. And if you consider that patreon.com slash AJ the CEO link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching folks. And we will see you on the next video later.